All right. So I turned 48 today, and stepson got me three tins of pellets for my air rifles for my birthday. Uh, the third tin I'm not showing because it's just H and N Crow Magnums for the 25, and I've shot them plenty of times out of both of my 25s. But he got me silver points in 22. He got me these tomahawks, our expansion pellets by Gamo. Of course, the silver points are H and N. Uh, I took out these two rifles today. We got the Gamo. It was a Swarm Magnum, but I removed the Swarm system because it kept messing up. And then we got the 22 Wildcat Whisper. Uh, I shot two two groups. I actually shot six out of the 22. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Neither one of these are sighted. This was these. We were at 30 yards. And I can about touch all the holes with my thumb. Now, they didn't sink in very well with four to shots and it looks like that one bounced out that one went in um that leads me to believe that the uh weight of them 17.13 grain is just a little heavy for that little uh wildcat whisper and then up here out the gamo magnum we shot the gamo tomahawks is one two three four one slightly up five and I can cover where you can't see them all of them and remember this was at 30 yards so I believe these pellets got some good potential they need to be in a stronger air rifle though so maybe I'll have to get me a 25 uh, 22 cal PCP next to shoot something like this um, yeah these let me see if I can get it single handed yep I shoot something a lot like these all the time made by crossmen or crossmen destroyers these are basically a knockoff of the crossman destroyer I can't call Crossman Destroyer knock off of these because Crossman Destroyer has been out longer than these. And what I found going supersonic like uh, that Magnum likes to do with a lot of the 177 pellets. The Crossman Destroyers, while they're great pellets, they, uh, they're not quite as accurate. They're, well, you know, they're not as consistent like that is. Uh, and I'm sure it's because I'm shooting them so fast. The destroyers group really well out my F4. These are a 7.56 grain. And they definitely go supersonic as well. But even though they're supersonic, these camo pellets still group really nice. So I think for expansion pellets, these are going to be my ones for my gamo now. My brake barrels just ain't strong enough for these guys. Um, I like to see better penetration than that. Uh, like I said, I'll get a 22 cal PCP and see if uh, I can get more power out of these. Maybe I'll get the Origin, being I love my Origin 25, maybe I'll get the Origin 22 next. Uh, and see how these shoot out a bit. And 177 actually did quite a bit better at its 30 yards for sure. I don't have my tape measure in front of me or I would measure it. I don't see it. table up again one day but uh yeah that's that's the grouping results it 
30 yards out of the Gamma Magnum 177 and the Wildcat Whisper 22 with Gamma Tomahawk 177 cow pellets and H&N Silver Point pellets. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, thumbs up. And uh, we'll catch you later. North Florida Air Gunner, out.